Hello, welcome to Do You Know Newton? I'm Brian Fazio, Newton County's Public Information Officer, and this is Newton County's only podcast. Of course, you can find it on all your podcast channels. You can find it on our website. You can find it on our YouTube channel. Um, in this podcast, we kind of touch on all things that are happening here with your local government. Um, March was a great month here. We had our presidential preference primary uh, with a great success. Thank you to all those who helped make that election possible, all our poll workers, all of our elections officials, including our elections director, Angela White Davis, who you heard live in this podcast uh, last month. If you did not get to see that, it's still relevant, so please go back and watch or listen to that. Uh, March was Agriculture uh, National Agriculture Month in the nation, including here in Newton County. Uh, we celebrated it with a farmer's breakfast that had a great turnout from our local agriculture community. Agriculture is a major deal here in Newton County and, of course, the entire state of Georgia. So we are excited to share that with our farmers and our producers here in Newton County. March is National Agriculture Month. March is also the start of spring, um, as you probably can tell already by the warmer temperatures and just a little pollen in the air. Just so, just, so we wanted to bring in a special guest this month, uh, very on Ashley Best. Ashley, can you tell everybody what you do here at the county? So I am the Agriculture and Natural Resources Agent. I am also the County Extension Coordinator. So what I do in my A&R job, I translate the science of everyday living for farmers, families, and communities um, to foster a healthy and prosperous Georgia. That's the mission of UGA Extension, and uh, this is a partnership between Newton County and the University of Georgia, so I am here to serve the community. Yeah, and a lot of people may not know that Newton County has this office, this extension uh, agent. I know when I first started working here, um, your predecessor, I went in his office, and I was able to test my soil in my yard. I was able to get some brochures on, uh, we have hydrangeas all over the house. So I was able to get some brochures on that and some other things. So tell kind of, you know, what people can utilize your office for. Yeah, so um, like you said, we've had a really great history of, of awesome agriculture agents in Newton County, um, going all the way back to Ed Hunt. So we're really proud of, of the legacy that the ag agents have had here. And I hope to continue that. In our office, you can definitely have your soil tested. That's what I recommend. You know, if anybody calls me and they have an issue with a plant, that's gonna be my first recommendation is let's test the soil. Don't guess, always test. And um, so you, uh, we test for pH and um, we test for uh, phosphorus and potassium in the soil. And we also give recommendations for nitrogen. And we tell you how much fertilizer to put, how much lime to put if your pH is off, sulfur if your pH needs to be lowered. So, um, you know, our ultimate goal is to save money for the farmers and the homeowners. And if you're just applying fertilizer, you know, every year you go out and you apply the same 10, 10, 10 or whatever fertilizer, you know, you could potentially be wasting your money. You know, your, your plants might not need it because of the availability in the soil. Yeah, and I was. Yeah. I was wasting my money and we found out through your office, you know, Georgia clay has a lot of acid. Yep. Um, and being a Florida boy. I didn't really know that. Um, so that's just one of the things that you all do. On the homeowner side, I guess we'll, we'll start with that. Um, when I walk in your office on the third floor of the administration building, you know, now, presently, um, there's a lot of flyers and brochure. I think in one of the events you did yesterday, the other day, you called it a library of sorts. Yeah, um, the University of Georgia has hundreds of publications on different topics from home gardening to beekeeping to, um, you know, well water quality, things like that. So when you walk into our office, um, Janine Johnson, she is our administrative assistant. She does a fabulous job of keeping all of those things up to date, beautiful, full color prints of the publications. And you can come in, check it out, take what you want, take what's interesting. We have, um, you know, um, home insect management, like, you know, managing insects in your home. We have wine making publications. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a, it's a wide range of, yeah. of topics. 
Yeah, and um, your office, again, the admin building, third floor. What, who all's in your office? What does your office entail? Yeah, so we, so the Cooperative Extension Program consists of three branches. Um, the first branch is agriculture and natural resources. That's what I do, dealing with anything agriculturally related. Um, the next one is 4-H, and um, hopefully everybody knows what 4-H is, but it's our youth development branch, and it's uh, actually Newton County was the very first 4-H. We are uh, claimed, you know, the claim to fame is the home of, of Georgia 4-H here in Newton County with G.C. Adams, and we are currently working on a history project partnering with Oxford College to um, find records of Really? being the first African-American 4-H oh, club okay. with P.D. Johnson in the early 1900s. Yeah, that's one of the things when people ask about Newton County. It was the Corn Club mm -hmm. yep. originally. Originally the Corn Club. Summer. We'd like to try to share with people, but I don't know as much information as you do. So the 4-H is a nationwide program. Right? It is. It is the world's that's largest right. youth organization. Really? Yep. The world's largest? Yep. Uh, that I didn't know. Yep. Okay. Um, and it started here in Newton County, which is which is a good claim to fame to have. Um, and then do you have any other branches? In we your... do. So, um, well, our office currently doesn't have a family and consumer science agent yet. That is a that is a goal that we hope to have to meet the needs of our community mm -hmm. with financial planning, um, well-being, like health and wellness, as well as nutrition. So a family and consumer science agent would be able to help you with canning, yeah. recipes, you know, um, Okay. Exercise programs, things like that, financial planning, home planning. Do you all work with the schools to do we that? We do. Well, so um, we, our 4-H program is in the schools. I have two staff for 4-H, um, a 4-H agent and a program assistant, and they're currently meeting over a 1,000 youth per month in in-school club meetings, and um, it's fabulous. Yeah, I talked to Charlene. I know she's yep. great over there at 4-H. Uh, just had a bunch of kids go on and win some 4-H awards. So congratulations to them. We'll have more on that on our, our website for sure. Um, yeah, so how did you get involved in in this world, extension yeah. agent, agriculture, and all that? So I taught high school agriculture for seven years. Um, I, I grew up with horses, uh, yeah. and I loved agriculture. When I was in high school, I took an FFA class. I was like, you know what? I not only love horses, I love everything about agriculture. I love the soil, I love the grass, I love the fruit, the vegetables, like the whole thing, the greenhouse stuff. So um, I decided to become an agriculture teacher and I taught for seven years. I loved it. I miss the kid power, you know, the, mm -hmm. the instant like, oh, Miss Best, you're my favorite. Like, so uh, I do miss being a teacher, but I love the everyday problem solving that comes along with my job. So I never know who's gonna call me. You know, the, the pro of my job is everything is different, every day is different, um, but also a con is every day is different. Uh, I, I never know who's gonna call with what problem or. Um, yeah, and for those who may not know, give us like a day in the life of yeah. the, the agriculture agent. So I, like just this morning, I had a client call this morning and he said, I pulled up some trees and they were in a very wet spot. Can you give me some recommendations on trees that do well in poor drained soils? So oh. I gave him recommendations on that. We talked about what they look like, the area, if he wanted evergreen or deciduous. And we just talked that through and, and he was able to get some good recommendations. Was that a farmer or? No, nope, it was just a homeowner. Oh, yep. Okay. So homeowners in Newton County, they can give me a call. And if they have questions, I also, they can email me photos of plants that they're having issues with. We can send plants into the diagnostic lab to the University of Georgia. Really? And if your plant has a disease, we can get recommendations back from our specialists on how to treat that disease and, and what to do moving forward. And uh, for a very minimal cost okay. to homeowners. So I have lemon trees. If they're not doing what they should be doing, yeah. I can call me. send them to you, call you, and finally get one tomato this season. Yes. <laughs> are your lemon trees in pots? They are. Perfect. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. They're in pots. Um, my father-in-law had lemon, my lemon tree in Florida, so I took some seeds. Oh, good. Up and I had yeah. like nine of them. Well, started with more. But anyway, um, well, great. And I know you work with, along with the homeowners, some of the farmers. Yes. Agriculture is a big deal in Georgia. Yeah. It's a big deal in Newton County. 
Um, yeah, our farm gate value is seven over seventy million dollars. Oh wow! For Newton County, okay. just Newton County. So the value of all of our farms together, and mm-hmm. are we talking dozens of farms, hundreds of farms? Like what's, um, what's the outlook? And number of farms is not that many. Um, I would say probably uh, between fifty and a hundred. So that produces seventy million. Okay. Yep. Um, and what type of farms do we have here for those people who may not know? Yeah. So our top commodities are horses beef cattle and um you know we have a growing group called uh, like organic fruit and vegetable production Mm -hmm. so we um, have four four certified organic farms and um you know a lot more people that are interested in becoming certified or fruits and vegetables i know there's a couple csa's yep that's right your csa's out there that in the within the county um i know we have a big farm um, that was popularized, I guess, by Vice President. I know Barry Street Farm. Yes. Another one. That, yep. Um, Barry Street Farm, yeah. the agritourism, Mitchum Farms, you know, the strawberries. We have a lot of great things going on in yeah. the county. Um, a lot of hay production goes on here. Oh, really? Lots of hay fields, those big open spaces. And horse and cattle. And, yeah, lots of horses. So because we're close to um, the horse park and we're close to Atlanta, we have a lot of training and boarding facilities here. Mm-hmm. People from Atlanta keep their horses here. They train with people here. Um, we have lots of high-end uh, five-star riders in different levels of and different disciplines mm-hmm. within the equine industry. And we also have the Newton County Agriculture Center. Yeah. So I am actually a committee member for that. We just recently got an 80-stall horse barn thanks to the help of Senator Brian Strickland. Mm-hmm. That's at the FFA. It it is camp. down at the F at the FFA camp, but it, it is separate. So yeah, but the location so people. Yep, can the location is down there um, on Camp Road. Mm-hmm. Yep, it's it's a big, beautiful building right out front. We have the um, the TM Mort Ewing show ring. Yep, and that was a SPLOSS project a couple of years back. And it has yeah. been fabulous. We I think almost every weekend for 2024 is booked up with an event there. Yeah, yeah. And I, yeah, I'm a bit more of a city boy, but I know last year a big event was the rodeo. Yes, um, for the first time came through and, and it was sold out. And oh yeah, attended. yeah. Get get your get your tickets early this year because we we are going to be adding seating. However, um, we probably will not be selling tickets at the door. It'll be a pre-sale online ticket only, and um, the dates for this year is September 20th and 21st. It's the okay. same weekend. It's usually the third weekend in September, but we are so excited about it. And Can people get tickets at your office or? Um, it's online. Okay. Yep. It'll be online just like last year, uh, probably through Ticketmaster. And okay. Well, since we're talking about rodeos, not, yeah. maybe not Ticketmaster, but whatever the online uh, was it Eventbrite. Eventbrite. Maybe? Yeah. That's it. Eventbrite. Um, so just talking about rodeos and have you here. I know whatever free time you have, you do some stuff with horses. Yeah. What is is it? I'm trying to remember because I know you and another employee yeah, do horses barrel, barrel racing. racing. Yeah. Yeah. What What is that? Because it sounds fun. So it is. It is so <laughs> much fun. So you run as fast as you can around three barrels. It sounds simple, but there are so many different. So how things. fast do you go? Uh, fast, like you know, as fast as your horse can go. So you know, 25 miles an hour, wow. flat out running, and then you got to slow down and turn the barrel. And um, so that's that's what I do for fun. I also have taken on a new discipline. And I've started showing ranch horse stuff, so um, that's where you're, you know, judged on a pattern and how easy and willing your horse is to go out and do things that a ranch horse might do, like rope a calf on, or you know, you'll rope a dummy, like. Okay, so they're doing stuff. It's not the horses dressed up like in the Olympics. No, so so you're actually going out and doing things. Like um, I did a. Uh, show two weekends ago actually at the Newton County Ag Center Um, we have a show there almost every month with this ranch horse series and I got to like you know grab the rope dally it on my saddle drag a log around you know we walked over a little bridge we did all kinds of maneuvers yeah yeah so you definitely have that passion for agriculture in all forms Um, like we said earlier I know we have a lot of horse and cattle but also on the farm side um vegetables fruits trees yeah um anything else you want to let the people know about your office and yeah. what, what they can get done there of course so my my favorite part about 
being an extension agent is building the relationships and, and getting to meet the people and, um, you know, the information that we provide, it, it's research based, it's unbiased, mm-hmm. it's the latest and greatest from the University of Georgia. So oftentimes people are like, oh, well, I can just Google that. And it's like, well, Google lacks that human mm-hmm. aspect. And when you call our office, you get a human. You know, you, you get Janine or you get me or somebody else in my office to answer the phone. And that's, you know, that's kind of missing in today's age. I yeah. Think. Well, in Georgia, being a research university, things are always, science is always changing. Yeah. Maybe not the science, but the findings are always changing. Yeah. Um, so that's a good way for them to keep up to date because you get all the up to date. Your office gets all the up to date information uh, straight from UGA. Well, I know we appreciate, like I said, when I first came here and discovered your office, because I didn't didn't know about the time, all the things that you do, hey, there's great service to our residents, whether you're on the homeowner end or the business end. Um, So, yeah, so everybody, you know, come visit Ms. Ashley and her team um, at the admin building or email, website, all the stuff everybody has. Are there any social media channels? Yeah, we have a Facebook and an Instagram and, um, and what kind of do you put stuff on there? Tips, you know, tips on planting and things like that as well. Or? Um, we usually don't. That's saved for my blog site. But I mean, we we can definitely start posting tips on. But yeah, or you just look at there and then yeah. Yeah. look further for tips. Yeah. You know, and come in and visit. Yeah. So, anything else you you want to add besides the, the relationship part? Um. I have um, I do have two programs of work with uh, Newton County Agriculture and Natural Resources. The first program of work is equine produ- um, production and education. So just basically fostering the relationship between the university and equine owners. Okay. Um, and we talked about some things that I've done with the Newton County Ag Center. I do have a website. It's called Elevated Equine. Um, and it's just elevatedequine.uga.edu. Mm-hmm. It's where... A group of agents that are that love horses we collaborate oh, okay. and all of our resources all of our equine material that we produce is hosted on that website we do a, a national award-winning equine newsletter okay. it's called the leading rain mm-hmm. it's really nice um, we do have online articles as well as a PDF print version and I personally love the PDF print version because it just looks so mm-hmm. aesthetically pleasing um, and then the second program of work is organic fruit and vegetable production. Uh, that's not my strength or my um, you know, strong suit. However, that is a need here in Newton County. We have um, an on-farm research project going on right now with Love is Love down in Mansfield. Uh, we're working with researchers and specialists from the university oh, really? on eliminating Bermuda grass using cover crops and other methods in mm-hmm. an organic setting yeah um and i know like you said that aspect is definitely growing um i know city of covington does their farmer's market yep and i see many different farms down there and i think you told a group the other day that horses or equine is the top five yeah we're in the uh we're in the top five if not the top county for oh, really? equine. okay yep and uh and then i also do homeowner programming so i try to do a monthly homeowner evening type program um different topics you know if you if if the public has a topic that they're interested in and they want to have a a session on it i'm open to suggestions we are finishing up our beginner beef course coming up next in two weeks and then after the raising or the cooking (laughs) the raising oh i do a cooking part okay (laughs) and then um we will go into different topics like invasive species and what you can do to remove them from your property. Um, we're also going to talk about Such as plants or yep. chipmunks. Well, I know chipmunks aren't native; they are native. Um, but uh, that could be a future session. You okay. know, nuisance wildlife. That would be a great session for homeowners to come to learn about those armadillos that continue to yeah. infiltrate Newton County, um, and then. We're also going to do like a native forages type oh, session, okay. you know, native foraging, interesting, ed- native edibles. It's going to be great. So we we want yeah. to bring agriculture awareness to homeowners as well as farmers and producers. And so. again, you know, our viewers or listeners can find all this out at yeah. the Extension Agent. Yep. Really do encourage everybody to go and visit the websites, the office, the social media. Uh, I know 
at one of the groups you spoke to, you take a lot of phone calls. A lot of phone um, calls. So anyway, but your office is here yeah. for connections yes. and to meet with the people. So we encourage that. Um, yeah, and with that, I mean, thank you for coming. Yeah, I think you. a lot of information I know yeah. that I, I didn't know. Um, and hopefully if our residents didn't know, they'd know now. Perfect. So thank you. Thank you. Three months into 2024, it's already been a big year here in Newton County. And as we approach the rest of 2024, it's going to continue to be a great year. There's a lot going on. Um, we're starting to enter our budget season here in Newton County. Newton County operates on a July to June fiscal calendar. So we are approaching our 2025 fiscal year, uh, which will start July 1st, which means we are preparing that budget now. Um, our first meetings for that budget starts March 27th and March 28th. Those are budget workshops. Uh, what that means is department heads, elected officials, constitutional officers, uh, appropriations, anyone who receives funds from the Newton County budget prepares their proposed budget. Uh, they submit it to our finance department. Our finance department, led by uh, Brittany White and her team, have been compiling that along with our county manager. That proposed preliminary budget will be presented to our Board of Commissioners for the first time during these workshops, again on Thursday, March 27th. I'm sorry, Wednesday, March 27th, and Thursday, March 28th will be the first time the Board of Commissioners will see that budget. Uh, they will then give their feedback back to Brittany White and her team, and they will adjust the budget accordingly. There will be a, uh, another workshop available for our residents to come and say what they would like to see in our budget uh, and then that budget will all get compiled then it will go in front of the board of commissioners again for another meeting further refinements and then another meeting until they have found a budget that will work for the upcoming fiscal year 2025 it's a crucial time here in newton county is that budget dictates our spending for the whole year um, from again july 1st 2024 through june 30th 2025 so that's approaching. That will be a busy time uh, here in Newton County as March, April, and May uh, come on. We also have, there's still time to attend our State of the County Address on March 26th, Tuesday, March 26th, at the Porter Performing Arts Center. You can also watch live on our website and our YouTube channel. Um, those are great resources to go any time of year. Our website is constantly updated. You can find out all the information of what's going on with our splash projects. You can find things such as this podcast. You can find our meeting agendas, our meeting minutes, our meeting uh, live meetings. You can watch the meetings. Um, you can do all that on our website and find out about all the departments, including our extension agent, um, finance, HR, E911, any department um, that the county operates. So please continue to utilize these resources and we will continue to bring you these resources such as Do You Know Newton, uh, which you can see on a monthly basis on our YouTube channel, as well as any podcast uh, channel that you can find. So once again, I thank you for joining us and look forward to seeing you on the next Do You Know Newton. <laughs>